there is an old saying and it cannot be traced to any individual but it goes like this I disagree with what you say but I will fight to the death you're right to say that Hi, I'm Ian Rinyon, an independent alternative media practitioner, among other things. And uh, I opened this recording with that unknown quote, allegedly kay Volterian, pero uh, recent studies say that it's not about, uh, it's, it's not something that he said. Pero as much as possible, tatagalugin ko itong, ano, ito, itong uh, recording na to kasi... Medyo na ano ako eh, medyo na tatanga ako dun sa sinabi ni Rendon Lab- Labrador eh. uh, There are already sensible uh, content creators who did their pieces regarding this such as Nico David and Paulul. You can check out their you can check out their uh, content. Uh, ilalagay ko na lang siguro sa description sa baba just in case you are very much interested with their thoughts. But these are mine. Una sa lahat, I have the op- I had the opportunity to serve my country, to serve our country. And one of our mandates is to serve and protect the constitution. One of the provisions of the Bill of Rights, which is the third article of our current constitution, is the freedom of speech and the freedom of freedom of expression. Now, itong si Rendon, sinabi niya na wala silang kar- walang karapatan ng mga estudyante na mag-voice out dahil estudyante pa sila. Kumbaga, mag-achieve muna sila saka sila magkakaroon ng, ano, magkakaroon ng uh, say sa lahat ng bagay. That's privilege. That's fucking privilege. I am not serving just because of some privileged spoiled brat. And besides, para muscle lang yata ang ang ini-exercise ng tao ng ito. Pero yung utak wala. It should have been a, it should be a balance actually. Men sana in corpore sano. A healthy mind in a healthy body. You cannot You cannot disregard uh, one uh, one for the other. Honestly, I have to shape up my body uh, as much as I have been shaping up my brain for years and years and years. But at the same time, hindi ibig sabihin nito eh puro puro reps lang sa gym mang ano ang gagawin mo. Ano yun? Ulitin mo, ulitin mo, ulitin mo, wala, hindi ka nag-iisip kung tama ba yung ginagawa mo o wal- mali. ba? Diba? Anyway, it just, nakaka-ano lang, nakaka-dismaya lang na may mga ganito pa mindset ang mga Pilipino. Na porket uh, r- nagra-rally sila, eh, tawag dito, they're causing trouble. Honestly, They do at times. They really do. And uh, to the inconvenience of uh, other people. But then again, it's their it's their constitutional right to say it. And as someone who has been involved in protecting that constitu- constitution, I would let them. Kahit na medyo questionable yung, ano nila, yung mindset nila. Bakit? It's their right to do so. You cannot just curtail their ano, their expression dahil lang ano, dahil lang uh ito, nakabalandra sila sa kalsada and all that shit. Sure, it's inconvenient. Even I would be inconvenienced. But as much as possible, I would try to understand where they're coming from. Ito rin yung ano eh, ito rin yung uh, naging Uh, argument ni Paulul eh. Kaya doon sa mga cancer dyan, uh, pakisabi lang sa tito pao ninyo na siya, siya yung dahilan kung bakit nag-record ako. Uh, basically, 
sinususugan ko lang yung ano, yung sinasabi niya. I just I just uh, added my ano, added my own thing. Pero naka-focus ako dun sa sinabi niya na uh, sinabi ni Ren, sinabi ni Rendon na uh, what heto wala silang karapatan dahil estudyante pa lang sila, palamunin pa lang, pa lang sila. So what? I mean by uh, during the by the moment they were born they are already they already have their inherent ano their inherent rights to speech expression and all that shit sure not yet formed sure hindi pa ano hindi pa ganun ka ano hindi pa ganun ka formulated yung ano nila yung uh, utak nila but st- but still they can still speak if they're corrected we only hope na uh I apply yun na mga bata. But we're not going to ano, we're not going to uh let them ano, we're not going to uh shut them up. Aside from serving my country, I'm also someone who teaches. And college and teaches college kids for that matter. Minsan medyo na ano din ako sa mga estudyante ko eh. Minsan na na questionable din yung mga sinasabi nila sinasabi nila or yung mga sinasend nila ng mga inputs nila kasi nagpapa-assignment din ako sa kanila but i understand where they're coming from honestly kung ano kung magiging judgmental lang ang mga tao i i am privileged kasi i am airing out these sentiments with the latest technologies pero paano yung mga tao na walang ganto na hindi nakakapag ano, hindi nakakapag uh, sabi ng mga bagay-bagay dito sa YouTube, dito sa social media. Paano sila? 'Di ba? Let's try to be compassionate. Let's try to understand where people are coming from. Vigilance and kindness is something that we need right now. Not discord. Not the uh, not division not uh it's <laughs> sorry ah, but i'm just at a loss of words it's just seven in the fucking morning and uh i'm already at a loss of words pero honestly mga kababayan let's let's let them say something. Baka naman may sense naman talaga. Kung wala man, at the very least, let them. Okay? Hindi porket, uh, uh, to ito, tumutulig sa ka, o sabihin natin, sumasal- sumasalungat ka, o, um, ayaw mo sa sabi ng mga tao na, na, na naririnig mo, eh, patatahimikin mo sila. Whatever happened to listening to the other side? Whatever happened to uh, being compassionate? Whatever happened to doing things for the common good and promoting the common good, even if it takes, even if it means taking to the streets. Our country needs vigilance and kindness, not discord or disgust. Tatagalugin ko na ha. Kailangan pa rin natin magbantay, pero at the same time, kailangan din natin mag, magpaka, magpakatao, makipagkapwa-tao. Never one without the other. Magbantay pa rin tayo at maging makapagkapwa-tao pa rin tayo. Those are the only th- only ways for us to unite through radical charity. And I guess, yun lang naman ang ano ko, ang masasabi ko at this point. Now, as I said, yung mga uh, yung mga 
points ni ano ni uh, Tito Pao ninyo at ni ano ni uh, Kuya Nico nasa description sa baba. I hope that you would also listen to that kasi maganda din yung mga sinasabi nila. As for Rendon, ang ba- mapapayo ko lang, please lang, i-exercise mo din ang utak mo. I-exercise mo din ang utak mo, pare. Huwag lang puro muscle. Brains and brawn, man. That is the mark of a true Filipino gentleman. Utak. Utak ang ano, ang labanan ngayon. Hindi lang ano, hindi lang katawan. Kung kaya mong, kung kaya mong anuhin yan, kung kaya mong i-exercise ang katawan mo, siguro naman pati utak mo kaya mo nang i-exercise. I'm not saying something about here, pero medyo natatanga lang din ako sa, ako sa, ano mo, sa comment mo. But, I guess you have to, ano, you have to uh, discern how to, ano, how to uh, make a perspective regarding that. Kasi, mali eh. I have to correct correct you for that. But, when it comes to, uh, to uh, motivation and all that shit, that's fine. Pero please lang. Just, think more. Habang ano, habang bini-beef up mo yung katawan mo. Kasi, kung, su- kung susubukan mo mag ano, mag-training, <laughs> Uh, in our uniformed services bagsak boy kasi hindi lang ano hindi lang katawan ng ano ang uh, labanan dito utakan din yun lang naman na masasabi ko if ever you are interested in joining our uniformed services but until then we might decline you or baka ikaw na ikaw na mismo ang umayaw yun lang naman na masasabi ko So with all that said, this is Intrepidy and Rinyon reminding you to, at all times, now more than ever, be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, keep thinking, keep speaking, and don't let others uh, uh, shut you up. Because I may disagree with what you say, but I will fight to the death with my own life. You're right to say it. And as always, thank you for listening to this audio recording. And uh, hopefully, my edit ko na yung uh, part 2 ng Autism in the Philippines uh, video ko. Na-record ko na siya. I just have to start recording it. Sana magkaroon ako ng motivation. Anyway, see you next time. Ian out. セックスになれた。セックス。やめろ。だけしお前、これ以上は体力が持たない。いや、俺はセックスになる。絶対にセックスになれた。セックス。やめろ。シーツアウトだけで、俺に命が来ても、ぶつかってくるだけだろ。だ